All right, you lot can't concentrate for 24 hours, so let's do a short reading. We did a minute, I think that was too soon. Um, let's go to an hour. How, from the moment this finish, this video finishes, what does your next hour look like? That way you'll get the instant gratification, whether you're knowing if what I've said is true or not, um, within the hour. And also hopefully I can tell you something that helps you deal with the next hour. So we're starting with the Ace of Wands. This is reversed. We are not motivated. It's We feel like we're not gonna get a lot done in the next hour, but we have the ego card. When you drop your ego, this is subconscious. When you stop worrying about what you're dealing with and embrace everything around you, all of a sudden, the world is your oyster. The negative is the Eight of Swords, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is the mastery card. It's in your negative slot. So just because you haven't mastered something doesn't mean you can give it your all. And this is where, this is what's important in the next hour. Your positive is the Ace of Pentacles. It's putting the skills you do know into areas that you didn't think they would work. So your actual answer, the two of swords, we are going to be petrified. You may already be shaking in your boots. What do I have to do over the next hour? But it's quite simple. I just need you to find, we've got the grounding card. So I'm gonna lean mostly into this one. Um, I need you to find somewhere to ground yourself. And if, you've, if you're at work and people around you are stressing you out, if you're at home and the kids are running around, if you're at home and you're alone and you're feeling lonely, whatever issue you are dealing with right now, and I do believe there is an issue for us to be in a negative mindset where we have little motivation, um, I need you to find that motivation to fix your problem using the skills you already have. We've got the page of wands. Um, I'm just getting names wrong. That's the page of swords. This is use your emotions wisely. We have emotions throughout the day. We have millions of thoughts and not one of them is an accident. So instead of going, oh, I'm having that thought again, let me just brush it off. I need you to sit with it. I need you to, if we're talking about the grounding, it may require you to go outside, sit on the grass. I know it's raining in the UK. Um, but find your sanctuary and give yourself, they say all you need is a minute for your age a day. So in the next hour, now obviously if you're working, you're not gonna be able to have this opportunity, but you still may be able to just take a moment, to take a breath, take a seat, maybe even pretend to make a phone call, whatever it is, but find your inner peace again. Your final card is the Six of Cups. This is embracing your inner child. And if we're using our emotions to go within, I think we overcome our deepest fear, our deepest worries within the next hour by just paying attention to the moment around us. It could be a form of meditation. It could genuinely just go, you know what, fine, I'm, I'm sad, I'm lonely. Well, what, what comes from that feeling? And you may find elation in the freedom that you have from this loneliness. That's just an example of something that I've done in the past, but you will find through your emotions that if you are feeling one, you can feel its opposite. So just because things may be hard, doesn't mean that your life is hard. Doesn't mean the future has to remain hard. Your hour begins now.